Hey y'all, welcome back to MK3 Firearms. Today, we're gonna be checking out a couple of Browning High Power clones. Uh, these are Turkish made. These are the T-Sauce Regent BR9s. The classic BR9 normally comes blued, and uh, that's carbon steel. And then you have the BR9 SS, which is a stainless steel. So this is uh, one customer's guns. He wanted to do something a little more practical for carry, a little bit less modified, and then something a little more higher end. So, you know, it's kind of, there's about $1,000 in between these guys. So it kind of shows you uh, what you're actually getting more for and what actually you can get in a practical form that, you know, basically what you need and none of what you don't. So uh, the Regent BR9 stainless steel. Uh, basically with this guy, we did side cuts. So of course our classic um, Trigicon HD up front. Of course that's made it into the um, Heine rear. And this is the ledge, the mil spec. We did a modified miniature spur hammer, or the mini spur hammer we call it. So basically it's a classic hammer that we miniaturize. We put serrations in there for you. So it's really nice, just basically rub your thumb across it, grabs it, no pressure needed. Um, also we do the classic trigger, uh, that's a Browning uh, Mark III trigger, or excuse me, Browning Mark II trigger that we flatten and reprofile. So it gives you that nice flat purchase for those who like flat triggers. Um, pretty much everything else is is the Regent, you know, factory equipment, the grips, the slide release, the safety, the magazine release, um, all that. So pretty much everything you need and none of what you don't. Classic barrel profile. Now he did replace both of his pistol barrels with the BH Spring Solutions. These are the one in 10 twists. So these are really nice barrels. Um, probably the newest barrel offering out of uh, all the manufacturers and they come with 11 degree crown from the factory. So this is all factory. We didn't do anything there. As you can see, that one is crowned at 11 degree by us. So pretty cool, a little bit different, you know, more custom, a little more factory looking. But yeah, so sights uh, we did on this guy, we did the reprofiling on the trigger, the mini spur hammer, which is really handsome with just a classic uh, repro or just a classic profile at the back of the frame instead of a beaver tail. And that's it, single stage trigger job, as we're famous for. No take up, the wall is already there. That's your brake, audible reset, brake. Awesome. And that little mini spur hammer is just, it's absolutely gorgeous. I think the profile of it is, I mean, just the way it comes out of the back of the site, that Heine, how it's machined in there, it's just awesome. Sexy little combination there. Okay, moving on. The BR9 carbon steel. So this guy, um, it's a lot tighter slider frame fitment, one for, for the way that we fit them, and also the Cerakote adds a little in there. And then of course, once it's machined down, it's just absolutely like a bank vault. Um, that said, all the modifications, we did a little take up under the trigger guard, as you can see. And that take up under the trigger guard rolls into the fastening for the front strap and the fastening for the back strap, all the way up into the beaver tail. Beautiful beaver tail. Just plays so well. Those angles and those curves, they play off the re-sculpting of the trigger as well. So together, they just have this complete theme that matches. We love it. Of course, same sights. So we got the Trigicon HD up front and the Heine mil spec ledge in the rear. And of course the sight, is gonna, or the hammer is gonna fold up perfectly right into that sight cut in the rear. As far as the internals, this guy does have uh, the cylinder slide uh, sear and of course their no bite commander hammer on there which just kind of sits really nice and tucked in the slide. You can get the other commander hammer, it sticks out more classic profile, but we like how that just has that little pop that comes out at the top. Very 1911-ish, if you will. Um, what else on this guy? VZ uh, Pro Slims, so nice slim grips, those great slants. That gives you that nice traction on the sides. Uh, we did the same reprofiling of the, the factory Browning high power trigger on here. When it comes to T-Sauces guys, we do replace the hammers and the triggers because they're cast and they're ill-fitting in the gun. Uh, they're kind of out of spec compared to classic Browning high power parts and we frankly can't do our trigger jobs to the level that we want to do them with those factory T-Sauce parts. So we're always going to change those out. Up front, crown barrel, 11 degrees, as you see there. And of course, a single stage trigger job. So no take up, there's your brake, audible crisp reset. Uh, we also did a Mark III grounding high power safety on this guy as compared to the other, the factory that comes with the T-Sauce. Docked it off on the other side, but you can have an Ambi if you like. And the RDIH Belgium, which is actually now owned by BA Spring Solutions, slide release lever. So it's just a little more, uh, I don't know, a little more angled and 
modern, and you can get to it a little bit easier. Thing is, if, you, you, if you're not used to shooting with one of these, you gotta keep your thumb away from it because on last round, it's not gonna pull the slide back or hold the slide back when the, uh, the last round is expelled if you're holding it down. It'll just ride all the time. So something to get used to, something to keep in mind. But yeah, both of these pistols are absolutely gorgeous. Cerakote on this guy is dressed with graphite black controls and battleship gray. So kind of reminiscent of the old Smith & Wessons, the air lights or air weights. Uh, they kind of had that gray kind of milk coat on them and that's very much what the battleship Cerakote looks like. But anyways, y'all, hope you enjoyed the video. A little, you know, lighter modified, heavier modified uh, off the same platform pretty much. Questions, comments, concerns, leave them and you know we will answer accordingly. Things are beautiful. Until next time, guys.